Hello, good afternoon and welcome. I'm very pleased to be joined by Terence Vomasil. Terence is the CTO of the Phoenix Hydrogen Project. So, um, Terence, uh, we're obviously here at World Hydrogen North America, Houston. Um, been a lot of interesting discussions uh, over the last few days and, and storage has come up a number of times. So, glad to, to have the opportunity to talk to you. Um, can you give us a little bit of background to, to Phoenix, what it is exactly and um, what, what the, the project is? Yeah, so Phoenix Hydrogen is an underground storage developer. We develop uh, hydrogen storage in salt caverns. Um, we're marketing our first project uh, in northwest Arizona. Mm -hmm. uh, we consider it the largest and uh, best salt resource to store hydrogen uh, in the west coast of the United States. And yeah. And what makes a, a, a good storage site for, 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 uh, for hydrogen? Uh, for hydrogen, it comes down to the geology. We have a huge salt body where we're at. It's about 130 square miles, or 130 cubic miles of salt. Um, and it's about almost 10,000 feet thick that we can store any number of salt caverns, any amount of hydrogen underground. Any, any amount? I mean, what sort of numbers of, of hydrogen can you Store. So initially we're looking at storing between 15,000 and 30,000 metric tons in two and four caverns. Yeah. But our site has the potential for hundreds of caverns wow. um, to serve yeah. California and the West. Yeah. And uh, in terms of serving those, those markets, how far is, is the salt caverns away from California? So on a potential pipeline route, we would be about 50 to 60 miles from the California border. Yeah and about 50 miles from Las Vegas. Um, Excellent. And in terms of the project uh, development cycle, I, I know I've seen you, you've obviously been talking to a lot of people here, I've seen you've been talking to some of the, sort of the equity partners and, and stuff, so I guess you're, you're putting together the sort of financing. Um, yeah, we're reaching out to equity partners to see if people want to come into our project and have a equity share of the project, yeah. whether it's minority or majority equity share. Uh -huh. um, but we're, we're still in the development phase of our project and we're looking for uh, partners to work with at the moment. Yeah, and also on the, on the production side, you've also got good quality um, you know, solar site, potentially wind site as well. Yeah, so we have about 8,700 acres of land right now that we can lease out for uh, solar producers. So if someone wants to come in and put solar on our, our land and yeah. electrolysis, it'll be co-located with our storage fa facility. Um, but yeah, we have great wind and solar. We get about 3,800 hours a year of the highest intensity uh, solar resource. So yeah. it's a great renewable resource. Yeah. Excellent. And in terms of uh, what, what, what have you, you learned here? We're obviously in day two now. There's been a lot of discussions, a lot of excitement um, uh, building around, around the sector. What, what are some of your thoughts? Um, Our, what we have been talking with everyone about and what they've been just sharing with us is one of the key bottlenecks of green hydrogen, specifically green hydrogen, is storage of that intermittent uh, commodity. Yes. Um, and to do it cost effectively, uh, above ground storage is r rather expensive, yeah. and liquid storage is incredibly expensive, but underground storage offers the best solution for this renewable resource. Yeah. And in terms of that solution, or, or I guess it's a, an essential component to the, the, the clean energy system that we're building. So we're obviously, I think, you know, in the sort of 20s and 30s percent of, of renewables in, in, the, in the electricity grid. And over the next decade, we're going to be going up to the sort of 50s and 60 percent. And that's when we start to need a lot of like large quantity storage for, for hydrogen. Is that you, you see that role as a huge kind of energy battery? For, for it the is. Grid. Um, like four of our caverns, if we're storing 30,000 metric tons of hydrogen, yeah. that's one terawatt hour energy equivalent storage yeah. of hydrogen underground. Yeah, it's a big, um, big number. Yeah, it, and that, that is like a battery that can power cities and towns for days on end, yeah. which is something we'll need, and it's all going to be done with renewable energy. Yeah, excellent. Well, we look forward to, to seeing the, the project develop and uh, we wish you, wish you success on that. And thanks a lot for, for your support at the event uh, and we hope you've, you've had a good time. All right, thank you. Excellent, cheers. Thanks a lot, Terrence.